Good morning from the OTG crew. We are doing our first ever sunrise adventure on the YouTube channel. It's something that Thomas and I have done for a long time, especially since before we got Shasta, our pup, who's not with us. She's at the kennel tonight, and you'll find out why in a little bit. But basically today, we are gonna go to Point Reyes National Seashore. We're gonna go check out uh, the Thule Elk Preserve. We're gonna try to go catch some elephant seals or sea lions. And we're gonna go to Thomas's favorite location, which is the Green Barn at the Bear Valley Visitor Center. It has all kinds of really cool stuff. And uh, we'll probably make some stops along the way, so it should be pretty fun. And let's go check it out. We just saw a coyote on the side of the road. We're gonna try to go back and get some footage of it because Thomas didn't see it and I wanna show it to him. That's one of the cool things about when you get up early, you get to see the critters are still out. There he is. Hey, little guy. See him? See him? So, that coyote was so well camouflaged that Thomas didn't see it like the first two times and no, we had to keep driving just, back. No, it wasn't camouflaged. I just didn't see it. It was like behind bushes. Well, that's kind of like what camouflage is. You don't see it. Yep, somebody beat us out here. Somebody's taking pictures. Gonna go check the old Point Reyes shipwreck. Favorite on Instagram. But we've been coming here since before Instagram existed. At least I have. The SS Point Reyes was originally built for the U.S. military in 1944, but was later acquired by Merrill Roca Sr. of Tomales Bay in the 1960s. A local resident bought the boat from Roca and moved it to Inverness with plans to eventually restore the boat. The boat washed into a sandbar where it still resides today. Oh, yeah, people put a lot of trash inside of it too. No, I don't think so. Hey, bud, what do you think of the shipwreck? Scary. Scary? I'm gonna die on it. Oh, wow. Well, good thing it, uh, it wrecked here on the beach and not in the middle of the ocean. I found these animal tracks. What do you think these are? I don't know. Wait, I think I know. What? Raccoon. Yeah, it's probably down here drinking some water from the creek. So we're obviously at the shipwreck right now. We are gonna go over to the Thule Elk Reserve next. Um, nice little drive out there. We'll get out of the, uh, the forest and we'll kind of go into the coastal prairies and it's really pretty. And maybe there, there will even be a little bit of fog, which will create a nice little ambiance. I gotta go get Thomas, cause he's poking around the shipwreck. Hop over it. Come on, bud. Hop over it. Tule elk are native to the coastal scrublands and valleys of California, but they'd been hunted to near extinction in the 20th century. 
In 1988, the Point Reyes National Seashore established the 2,600-acre Tule Elk Preserve in Tomales Point. And while there are Tule Elk in other parts of Point Reyes, this is the best place to view the elk, as one of the herds is often in sight of the road. For those looking to get an up, up close and personal experience with these majestic animals, you can take the hiking trail towards Tomales Point. So dude, we're going down to McClure's Beach. Have you ever been to this? No. I have, many years ago. When you were a kid? No, when I was an adult. I don't know if I've been here when I was a kid, but it is a cool little beach. You cannot ride your mountain bike down here. You will definitely get a ticket. Um, yeah, you gotta be careful because there's lots of sneaker waves, strong currents. You go into the ocean here, you might not come back, so. Well, don't go over to the edge then. <laughs> you'll be, don't. you'll be fine. <laughs> So we're at McClure's Beach. This is a great spot to go to. It's about a third of a mile hike down a pretty steep dirt trail. Uh, pretty easy to get down to if you don't mind that. Some great rocks at the south end of the beach as well as the north end of the beach. Now the one thing you need to be aware of here, there are lots of sneaker waves. It's pretty calm right now, but there have been a lot of people, I'll get the exact number, that have been swept out to sea. So just something to keep in mind of. If you're thinking about climbing on those rocks, you gotta be extra, extra careful. After McClure's Beach, we decided to head towards the Elephant Seal Overlook by the Point Reyes Lighthouse. While we didn't visit the lighthouse on this trip, we did make a quick stop at the famed Cypress Tree Tunnel before heading over to the Overlook. Looks like we're not gonna be able to get all the way down there. But it's hard to see, but elephant seals there. Sorry for the wind. Got a little better view of them, maybe two dozen of them, three dozen down there. The best time of year to check out the elephant seals at Point Reyes is during the mating season, which lasts from December through March. Seal pups typically arrive between January and April. We're at the Bear Valley Visitor Center in Point Reyes National Seashore. This is a great spot to check out. They have a bunch of exhibits. We'll show you inside. They also have some hiking trails, some stables behind us. Great little spot to go picnicking here under the trees. And then of course you have the Bear Valley Trail that goes all the way out to Arch Rock, the beach. I think it's like five miles. I forget the exact mileage. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna go check out the, uh, the Visitor Center here.
All right, guys, that concludes our sunrise adventure. We hope you had fun with us. And if you haven't done it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave some comments too. We'd love to hear what you think about these little uh, different types of adventures that we're experiment experimenting with. And we'll probably be back out here to Point Reyes and do some more exploring on uh, Marin and Sonoma County soon. Say bye, Thomas. Bye. <laughs>